Good morning. Thank you for joining us. It's good to uh, be alive and then to be complete in our body, mind, and soul. And then today is uh, today's live on Equa Television International. The squads are here. You know, I have uh, extreme end. My far left, Joyce Jakada. Thank God it's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What will be uh, happening? I, uh, the, slow boy. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. And I have engineer Tony Jena Kali. The Lord is my light and my salvation. <laughs> Hallelujah. And then my beautiful sister. Good morning. Good morning. Good You're morning. Trying to be humble. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to be humble like a humble person. <laughs> okay. yeah. I'm always privileged but, to be here, man. Mm. Anytime, any day. Mm. It it sounds it's it's always feel good because when you have um uh, people uh, like you on the set and then knowing fully we have a um, uh, community out there that are faithful following this program because mm. of what they are gaining mm. because of the impact that this television and this particular program mm. you know is impacting on them it, it sounds great it sounds great and we are we are always grateful mm. that you believe in us and you believe in the station and um, because today we are we are, will be talking social media i think joyce you know uh, why can't we just visit our community you know social media and then uh hear what they are saying you know just a brief recap All right. so i think um on our social media community on Monday, we discussed living happy and healthy, and Philemon Tima said, uh-huh, this one is number one prerequisite, <laughs> living happy and healthy. And Augustine said, it's worth living a healthy life if all that matters are not restrained as per livelihood that hardship encompasses all sundry. Healthy life has much to do with condition of being in this our trying time. May God make open doors so that we would always overcome in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We also have um, another another one from well, Darko Dar- Daniel is, is happy to be part of the community and uh, Ishaya Sunday, same Augustine saying the, the partner we deserve it's better we learn by observation than experience. Those who learn by experience may not live to tell the story. That's talking about when future. Yes, right? the partner I deserve. And human is imperfect. Human you see today can change tomorrow. Let God direct us. God is unchangeable. God knows our future. He knows who will change and who will not tomorrow. Anything or choice we we want to take, that inner voice always remain remind us but we ignore it. Why? Because we've been carried away by what we see, brethren. Mm. Times are hard. Things are getting worse every day. Mm. These things affect our choice. The type of relationship I deserve, we must have the same spirit as Amos 3 verse 3. Mm. And I think that's where can two work on t- unless they are... Ag- yes. And then y- Yakubu Napoleon is saying, thanks for your consideration. Ishaya said, we also learned that the way we post on social media matters a lot. Our imperfections should be private and not public. Mm. (laughs) And uh, Darko is saying, it is true that we learn by observation, but sometimes we, with someone experienced, you can know where the person is coming from and observe him or her very well. That's still in line with the partner I deserve. And uh, another message saying, indeed, Brother Tony, Brother Solomon, Sister Joyce, and Sister Pruden have taught us a lot. God bless you. I have now understand the word education perfectly. And I think it's in line with yesterday's topic, the worth of I hope education. He's not school. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't quit school. <laughs> the, the idea is for Someone you. Someone called me and said, you just rubbished all of my effort to pay school visits. I said, no, sir. He said, ah, ah. He said, if he had known this, that he would have sent his children to maybe some trading school. Or so. I said, mm. no, sir. Mm. It's important. But just encourage them mm. to do well with what they are educated about. Yeah. Don't just let them come out of school 
and start looking for work and they don't get anything to do and it starts it, it seems like you know they wasted time in school mm. no no so someone said that that um when when graduates or when people go to school and finish and don't have job that is the greatest motivation for illiterates <laughs> like <laughs> you see you went to the school and there's no <laughs> job and you that went to learn the skill one. you that went to learn the skill you are self employed look at it that that's the greatest greatest motivation <laughs> for mm. illiterate mm. school is is good education is important we it's, don't stop it's, learning it's, it's amazing that you follow uh the whatsapp com- community we have um we have a lot of people who come in but we don't just put anybody on the whatsapp community until you want to be in the whatsapp community because we mostly ask should we add you to the whatsapp community and Sometimes people say yes. Yeah. Sometimes people say hold on. Mm. Sometimes, <laughs> like a lady asked me, she said, "I'm not an Equa member, mm. but there is someone that is an Equa member. Please help me check. Is this number on the platform?" I said, "No." She said, "Add me." So I asked her. I said, "What if the person decides to join after you are there?" She said, "She will not say anything on the platform." <laughs> and we added her. So you see, it has nothing to do with you as an individual. Mm. Oh, it has a lot to do with you as an individual, but it doesn't have anything to do with your personal life. We're not sharing that. When topics spring up, we talk about them and see how people can get help mm. from such topics. You, you, you know, we, we are not just there to embarrass anybody or to bring your your story to the open and all of that. No, but a lot of people we have we have people from Sierra Leone. Mm. We have I think we have someone from South Africa. We have Ghanaians. We have people from Chad. People from Cameroon. A lot of people on the on the WhatsApp platform, and we talk about the issues that are bothering around life you know and that that's that's the whole essence of this life mm. we don't know it all mm. sometimes when people make comments on the platform i say i wish this comment came before the show mm. you know so that we can also put it all up together but joyce you did a great job yeah. you're done well um phil philos is saying this program today's life is very impactful mm. i learned enough mm. a Theo lot Philos, i think okay Theo Philos. He's not a Nigerian. Okay. He's a Ghanaian. Mm. Yeah. Well, a lot of people being appreciative of the program today's life. Mm. We appreciate you as well. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you so much. We mm. appreciate. And that brings us to today's topic. I think we've already started doing it. <laughs> Purpose driven accounts mm. on social media. Yeah, that's true. Mm. In fact, our our WhatsApp our WhatsApp account is a purpose driven account. Yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> Don't think about it. <laughs> it's a purpose driven account. And when you talk about purpose, Sin can be purpose, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Negativity can be purpose. True. A lot of things that are good and bad can be purpose mm-hmm. as well. Mm-hmm. But the kind of purpose that we're talking about is the people who come into our space and not just sit there, Joyce. Mm-hmm. They love what we're doing. They agree, not just love, they agree with what mm-hmm. we're doing. Mm-hmm. And then our purpose, you know, become intertwined yeah. and 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 that is our so so we are talking about uh, today's life is uh is is basically about life mm-hmm. from every angle from work from love from education um every everything you can even the topics that we don't talk about we don't list we don't we we they, they are not even in the synopsis we bring them on today's life and we talk about them you know and we we are being real we are being real on today's mm-hmm. life. Mm-hmm. You see, there are accounts out there. Honestly, they don't glorify God. But you see, not only that these accounts don't glorify God, they belong to Christians. Mm-hmm. They are owned by people who say, we are believers. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, people who are called by his name and turn away from evil and wicked ways and turn away from evil and wicked ways you can you you can be a christian <laughs> with evil tendencies mm-hmm. and uh, that is why you see people especially christian girls they the parts of your body that is very sen- that are very very sensitive are the ones you like showing on social media and I like to ask all the time, what is the purpose? What is the purpose? You see girls, they, 
they can't stand this way and snap. They must turn and show you the backside of their body to snap. Why is that? You, you just don't understand. And I need to tell you this in case you are a culprit. These things are burdensome to us, brothers. We may pretend like it does not hit. It does. It does. And it makes us want to find out more who you are. It, yes, mm. sir. When you when when you suggest to me that this is a restaurant, and I'm passing and I see open. When I see clothes, I know there's no food in mm. there. But when I see open, I know that is an invitation to come in and get some meals. Mm. So when I come into that restaurant, I like to find out what do you have. And that's the question every man wants to find out about any lady who is showing herself to be available. What do you have? What do you mean, what do I have? I've shown you, yeah, I, I know what I saw. But I know there's more where it came from. Hmm. So I want to, I said came from, like a Ghanaian. <laughs> my gala friends you are beginning to teach me Ghanaian accent where you came from <laughs> you know and it's, 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 it's so sad that people open accounts and then they change their names yeah. that's another trend it's Me's. not a, it's not Me's. a purpose driven account <laughs> see it's not a your name is Joyce Jakada why is, is your, your account not really Joyce Jakada or the real Joyce Jakada, or official Joyce Jakada, you know, but you, you, you just carry a name that your parents can never guess is your name. That means you are planning to do something shameful online, and you wouldn't want people to discover who you are. See, if you have a brand, and you put that as the name of your account, we are cool with it. But if it's just a name, so that we will not, uh -uh, there are people I, I, I talk to, are you on Instagram? Oh, yeah, 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 okay, I'll look you up. They tell brand. you you don't know the name of the account. Even if it's a brand, you should promote the product. It should. Mm -hmm. Joyce, but you see people, they carry a name that you can never guess it is them. And then they make the account private. Mm -hmm. Sir, if you have a purpose-driven account, why is it locked? Who are you locking it to? Mm -hmm. That means you want, you want people that think like you do, behave like you do, mm -hmm. act like you do, mm -hmm. do the things that are in line with your purpose, purpose. to join the account. Mm -hmm. Little wonder you send someone a request. That request stays long and long and long and nothing, absolutely nothing is done about your request. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it is a private domain where People like you and I are not welcome. How many pastors do you see? How many churches do you see running private accounts? How many? So, sir, if you if you if you say that no, there are people who knock on your door and do all these things that you don't want to let them into it. When they follow you, you block them. You have options. You block them. You just don't let them. I have a lot of people have muted on status because what they share, it does not agree with what I believe. When they send hi to me, I archive them. There's a brother I respect so well, highly talented and all of that. And he came from somewhere with a doctrine that seemed not to balance with what I believe. I did not block him. <coughs> But I, I found a way of keeping him at arm's length. Because what he is posting, they are fighting what I believe. And it's a struggle. Me being occupied with issues of life, I wouldn't want to add unnecessarily to my time dealing with stuff that I shouldn't have invited to my life. Mm. So I what I <coughs> excuse me, what I just did was to find a way of keeping him at arm's length when it comes to to relating on social media. Mm -hmm. So if you have an account, if it's not purpose driven, mm -hmm. I'm I'm going to I'm encouraging brothers that most definitely you'll find a lot of accounts 
that are not purpose-driven accounts. What you should do is stay away from such accounts because these accounts, no matter how we speak, they are going to exist. Mm. So stay away. Stay away. You, brother, do you know the communities that are online? Hmm. LGBTQ, they have the community online. And before you join, you must answer certain questions by the admin hmm. of this group. You have gay communities, you have lesbian communities, you have this communities, you have that communities. Mm. Sir, if you want to know the things that are happening that are not like a place where you will see things that are really called demonic, go to TikTok. Mm. Of course, I'm, I don't have anything against TikTok. I am on TikTok, mm. right? Mm. But I have things against certain posts on TikTok. Brother, have you checked our sisters from the north on TikTok? Mm. Do you hear the things they say? Mm. I heard that one was banned from staying in a particular state. So she had to move to a different state. I just heard that this morning. Mm. Do you know what people post on TikTok? Do you know how people bring the things they do in private to the open on TikTok? Is disheartening. Is disheartening. Ladies talking about how that this girl tried to sleep with her. This one talking about how that this man tried to sleep with him. This is, even in our religions, in Nigeria we have the Christianity, we have Islam, and then we have paganism. I hardly see people who are pagans posting rubbish online. It's us that have good books, doctrines, and laws. Mm. We disregard such. And then it makes it makes the pagans think, if this guy is trying to win me to Christ, what is his religion offering? Mm. Mm. Because, sir, whatever you do, you are representative of your religion. So when you come out as a Muslim, and then you are posting things, it makes someone who wants to be a Muslim wonder. The same thing as the Christian faith. Mm. So if you believe, if you, you if you want to post things that are not in accordance mm. to what you believe or your religion, leave the religion and make your post freely. You know the problem? So Joyce, if it's difficult to leave the religion, mm. stay in it and don't post it. The problem now lies in the Joyce fact that we... <laughs> oh, mm. yeah. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> you know the problem is okay <laughs> a lot of people that claim or profess to be christian want to live a double standard life we're talking about purpose-driven accounts social media in itself we say today the world is a global village because you are able to connect with people regardless of the country or location that they are in real time and then for every account that exists, whether you like it or not, there is a purpose attached to it. When you talk about purpose, you are talking about reason to which something is created or why it exists. If we are saying, oh, can we, we need to appoint or we need to elect somebody, we we'll call for a meeting. That means the purpose of that meeting is for election. Mm -hmm. So for every social media account that exists, there is a purpose. Your existence as a person, there is a purpose. So you choose to live by it or not to live by it even though your creator has a reason why he created you. Mm. But a lot of times, a lot of times people want to follow trend. Mm. They, they are not sure of where they stand and what they want to be. Mm. Like talking about the other people, the people in the other side. Oh, they create social media accounts, LGBT. And mm. if you go through their timeline, they are living up to the purpose of creating that, that account. account. Mm. And you say you are a Christian. You open an, a, a social media account. Today you are copying a content from LGBT to post. Tomorrow you are copying from church to post. Next mm -hmm. tomorrow, oh, what is the latest music? There's no purpose. You're not even <laughs> living up to your purpose. So I think people should, we've been talking about accounts, like social media and then the accounts you've opened, whether Facebook, um, WhatsApp, Twitter, whatever. What what's the purpose? Are you following trends? Oh, because my friend is on TikTok. Let me be on TikTok. TikTok is the latest. Let me be on. What what is the purpose? Just what is the me, reason let me why? Let me say something that makes us all mm. culprits. Mm. How many people do you have on your phone? Because that's also an account. How many people? 
Well, um, Give a ballpark figure. I know you don't. It's about five hundred. On your contact list. Yes. How many? Seven. Probably a hundred, because I have numbers that I don't even know that I have. How many thousand plus? I have over fifteen thousand contacts on my phone. Now, how many of these people do we know in real life that are our friend? <laughs> well, basically, some just you just met maybe. Do, do you understand? I I I, you know I have I have lived in a place where you see someone having seven contacts on his phone, eight, ten, fifteen, and when you talk about the contacts on your phone, they ask you, "Who are all these people?" Hmm. And that's a question I want to ask ourselves: Who are all these people on your contact list? Do you have to exchange number? If yes, why? <laughs> Not do you get the point? If yes, why? You are just in a taxi, and then you just said, "Oh, I like your top. This is fine. Oh, who's your tailor? Ah, oh, Joyce the cat. Ah, oh, she does well." And then you are quiet, and then you tell the driver the next bus stop. Ah, before you go, let me get your number. What is the reason? Just because I'm wearing something nice, how are you sure this is not the only nice thing I have? So once I don't have this, what's the other reason why we should bond? You see, it's purpose. Your phone itself, your contact list is an account. Because you store up numbers. It's an account. So why should you have all of these people? One time I sat and said, look at all the people on my phone. If I'm if I'm translating that to money, <laughs> because this this people you have about fifteen thousand sir, mm. about fifteen thousand. So I started wondering, how did I meet fifteen thousand people? Some of them there's no name, but they are stored on the phone. Mm. So how in the world do I even know who this is? Imagine sir that you have to talk, you have to service. This relationship of 15,000 people. That means, <coughs> excuse me, you live your life servicing on this relationship. You turn to dust. Do you understand? Mm. So let's start checking. Mm -hmm. There are things about your life. Don't just say, no, it's just there. Mm. Uh, no, it's not mm. just there. Mm. It's not just there. That is why before you get somebody's number, make sure the post person is going to post the same thing as you do. Is going to like the same thing as you do. Is going to comment on the same things as you comment, and the comment will come near close, mm -hmm. you know. And then it's a lot of things have to be in common with people. Mm -hmm. Do you know that there are people who tell you, hmm, "Babe, do you know I just discovered? I just discovered a place. You don't want to know what they are doing. I can't tell you for less me." That person is eager to meet you to hear that, and then they tell you, and you're like, "When is every Thursday?" Oh? I can't wait for Thursday. And you keep reminding the person. Mm. Keep reminding. I can't wait for us to go and see him. That's what you're saying. Mm. And then finally you went there on a Thursday and then you saw what they're doing. You're like, babe, this is the best thing you have done to me. They are adding, adding more coal and charcoal and firewood to your hair. <laughs> <laughs> because we need to understand students that truly, if you say you are a Christian, if you are not Christ-like. Mm. Jesus, I mean, Jesus had a relationship with every kind of human being. Mm. But there was a reason behind such relationship. Mm. He met Zacchaeus at the end, salvation came. Mm. He met the prostitute at the end, salvation came. Mm. He met someone, he said, I want you to follow me, at the end, salvation came. Mm. Look at all the 12 disciples of Jesus and be truthful. Mm. How many of them did he meet? doing the work of his, his father. Go and check. He met, one of them was collecting tax, one of them was fishing, one of them was doing this. They were just going about their daily activities and he started calling them. One after the other. He had a 72 somewhere, he had a D somewhere. If you go to the book of Luke, he listed all of them. <coughs> Excuse me. And he had a 12 that were always with him. And these 12, go and check their characters one after the other. Including the one that brought about the salvation that we have today, Judas. Mm. Because if Judas does not betray Jesus with a kiss, mm. 
<laughs> my sister gave me a gift one time. I said Judas kiss. I called it Judas kiss. She was so angry because we fought, and then she gave me something. I said this is a kiss of betrayal. You know. <laughs> so it's still going on today in our in 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 our today's life. In our today's life, you see people they laugh with you, they talk with you, but they like they are extremely slanderous. They assassinate your character in your absence. Mm. They don't talk good about you. Mm. That is the spirit of Judas Judaism. <laughs> and you keep such people as, as your friends, friends on social media. Uh, and do you know what, Joyce? It's difficult to keep such people away. Mm. Go and check. Mm. It's difficult to keep such people away. Sir, do you know the groups that have sent me suggestions mm. of joining on social media? Mm. Why? Because they know you have an account that is lofty. Mm. And you have tendencies of bringing more people to them. I have good news for them. I don't believe the same thing as Mm. you do. Mm. So I'm not joining. I'm not joining. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I I, I just wanted to say, I was actually going to build on what Joyce said. Um, uh, The major issue that we are having is that we want to be on both sides. So we tend to live a double standard life. So as Christian... You love God, but you also love the world. How would God say that if you love him, you have to leave the world? No, now the world has a lot of enjoyment. Let me enjoy as well. Mm. That's the whole mindset we approach Christianity with. A lot of us. We 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 use this verse, capitalize on it wrongly. Mm. I am free. Free to live my life. I'm no longer a slave and all that. So we begin to start saying that uh, since we are free, we are free to do about anything. And then we end up using that freedom mm. to go and do the wrong thing. Prudence, I haven't seen, seen a picture of uh, maybe a girl that snaps herself and maybe her, her breast outside and she say, apple of God, I don't wick. Plenty <laughs> of them. You want to <laughs> be a child of God? Done. At the same time, there's another <laughs> thing you're yeah. selling. Plenty mm. of yes, them. but you can't it mm. is there. You can't do both. You know, there has to be are, one or the, the other. The, what the for, mm. what you are saying now, Ba? I said Ba on TV. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Gombe proudly because there is Gombawa, so I picked Ba from Gombawa. <laughs> True. I'm smooth. I'm smooth <laughs> like that. Guys. You see, we are we are we are renaming sin. That's the problem. See, we are renaming sin. And anything that is sinful, we try to find a nicer name for it. That is the reason why we are where we are today. Sir, someone stole money. They say he tempered with public funds. How is that temporary? You are a thief. You stole. (laughs) Why wouldn't we call things as they are? Mm. You know? Mm. Uh-huh. So we are we are even having names for sex. We are even having names for, you know, everything that we do that is not right. So, <coughs> in order not to call it sex, for it to sound like a sin, mm. we give it a different name that it can just fit into a regular, inconsequential conversation, so that it can just float. Sir, whatever it is, the act is there. It is recorded unto you as this is what you have done. So, apple of God's eyes. (laughs) Don't make it. I have good news for you. The Bible says, if your breast is going to make you sin, cut it off. You don't use knife. You use cloth to cut it off. If your bonbon is going to make you to sin, cut it off. Mm-mm. Don't use knife. Use gown. Use boo <laughs> Use hijab where it's necessary. True. Mm. True. Because, see, we, we, we're not talking about relationship, right? We're talking about social media. But you see, Joyce, if I want to be related to you, and we established this on Wednesday, how that people go online, where they socialize, even find love. Some people find it the right way. Some people have married and they are living happy. An account gave birth to a marriage that is doing well today. Right? Good. But let's let's think about it. 
when you took a picture and you are in a hurry to upload it, let's be honest. What's the purpose? Is it going to be? Is it? Will it fit a purpose-driven account for you as a Christian? Would it fit? If no, why post it? You don't know the shape of your body. Why do you have to snap your shape to remind yourself? That means you don't need it. Don't take it. Don't take it. Sir, I know that there are people whose mind are made upon lusting after other people. That no matter how you dress, no matter how... In fact, some people are looking for the decently dressed ones. No matter how you dress, people will get access to your private life. And before you know it, they are doing private things with you. <coughs> Do we have to allow it to get to that level? We don't have to. So if, if you are saying, apple of God's eyes don't wake. <laughs> and you are not, God does not even know about your existence. Mm. How are you, what made you an apple of God's eyes? Mm. Do you know who is an apple of God's eyes? How many souls? Have you won to the kingdom? Before you call yourself apple of God's eyes, how many souls have you won? Have you, did you win to the kingdom? I made a post recently. I don't think I've made a post that trended on my status like the one I had like two days ago. I say when God speaks, don't wait till it makes sense. Most of the times, so that's the problem. Hmm. The Bible is saying this is what you should do. But you are waiting for your sense to, pro to, to process what you have heard. And it's not like it has not processed it. No, you are waiting for it to pro process it in a manner that fits your corrupt lifestyle. Then you use it. So I go to church, see what sisters wear to church. Is it a church or is it the house of God? There are certain things you should not use your money to buy because the purpose, sir, is not to wear it. The purpose is to wear it and post it on your account. Mm -hmm. Just imagine, after, some people even made a joke of it. They said after service, they, they showed boys. Mm -hmm. Immediately they did a closing prayer. It's a lady that did it on TikTok. Mm -hmm. Brethren ran away. They said, you fellowship wait behind. <laughs> Brothers ran away. Then they showed uh, a sister, they said, she's the one that likes to mind her business. She carried her Bible like this mm. as she was walking home. Then they showed some two sisters mm. and it was the same lady that acted all the characters. Mm. They were waiting to take pictures. Sir, they are not printing these pictures to hang it on their wall. Mm. They are posting them. Mm. <coughs> what is the reason? There's nothing wrong with taking pictures and posting in church. Absolutely nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. But what's the reason? As a Christian, when last, like Joyce was saying, these accounts that you have, mm. you don't even post, you post uh, lesbianism, you post Christianity, you post, we are confused. We don't even know what you like, what you don't like as a Christian. Mm. Like I would always ask, when last did you post a scripture? Mm. When last, sir? So you mentioned something on Wednesday, something that made us all laugh, but it's really, and I want to bring it back here. It's from the scriptures, though, but he, you paraphrased it in a very interesting manner. Where he said, um, "From the abundance of the heart, the the body, the, I mean, the body dresses." But mm. uh, sorry <laughs> about that, but right. So, I w I just. <laughs> are you blowing me? See, you are fisting. Oh, no, is that? I'm that, not that, 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 that the one that is yeah. Yeah. Okay, knuckle. I just mm. like using my right. Christians chop knuckle. <laughs> <laughs> So, well, I just wanted to bring it here. It's, it's the same thing. When the Bible said, from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh, it didn't just mean talking. Mm -hmm. It meant what comes out at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Be it dressing, be it what you're posting on social media. Literally, that's your mind you're posting. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, what you're thinking at the status. moment. That, like, that's the state of your mind. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I never saw it that way. Mm. <laughs> status. That's so some people yeah. will say when you when you use my status to do you are on your own. I'm mm. just well, catching interesting me, Facebook actually <laughs> Facebook actually says what's, what's on, on your, your mind. mind. Mm. So you're basically just telling people, okay, at this moment, this is what I'm thinking. Mm. Mm. And if you continue to do like that, then 
that means you have misplaced pop like your pop you've not gotten your purpose yet you're just somewhere hanging around mm. because the truth is that as a christian it is either one of or the other mm. or la- like I- as a human being rather mm. it is either this or that mm. you're either christian mm. or not mm. you're either muslim or not you're mm. either pagan or not mm. you have to choose your own god mm. See, uh, I, th- I think it was a song I was listening to that he said, um, all of us have a God. We just don't know. Some of us just don't know who we take or what we take as our God. Mm-hmm. And because you don't know who your God is, you just go along with the wind. But then again, you are worshipping that God. Mm-hmm. Be it um, p- taking pictures and posting it, that you're taking it above God. Okay, I'm just posting something, but then it's not pleasing to the God that you proclaim or you say you're serving. Mm. Now, Prudence, you're talking about God. Mm. Yes, all of us, you know, like you rightly put, have God that either we know or we don't know. know. (laughs) But the thing is that we have God and we have a creator. Mm. (laughs) Interesting. It's it's the two different things. Mm. Yeah. And then if you have a creator, what's the purpose? Why did God create you? I think he solved the whole thing. You and see, then we, we are not answering that question. Or rather, we are answering the question wrongly. Lit- little wonder you have people that will say they, they, we, we, we evolved. Mm. It's out of evolution that a human being comes up. That person would not just go out there and believe that there's a God who actually created him. Mm-hmm. He just came into existence. Mm. Basically, that's what the person is thinking. Mm. So you can't expect that person to think the same way as you who has already believed that this is who i serve and this is why i am here on earth Mm. and all i'm doing is to his glory so you go about posting whatever comes your way how do you relate that it doesn't make sense some people say they say oh i'm a christian they Mm. they they profess that i'm a christian but the part they choose is as far as night and yeah, day exactly. with Christianity. Mm-hmm. Like we've always maintained in the days of old, believers were called Christian because of the Christ-like attitude that was seen in them. So if they had social media accounts, then whatever they are posting is Christ-like. So there is no way you will say, oh, you are a Christian. And then you are posting picture, naked picture, and say, apple of God, I don't wake. Who are you deceiving? No, it, it doesn't. There's no a beating point between the way you are dressing, mm. and then what you are seeing. Mm. Because if you are truly a Christian, then your motivating factor, your mm. reason for posting, your reason for accepting certain friends should be like-mindedness. Mm. He's, he believes in what I believe. Like personally, there are people that I unfollow mm. because I, what, 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 by the time you start posting things that does not align with my belief, like Engineer Tony said earlier on, it's something that I have to fight. I'm reading it. If some, if it's something that every day I'm reading, before you know, consciously, unconsciously, it, it affects what you believe in. Mm-hmm. So can my social media account be purpose-driven that I am very mindful of the friends I accept, mm-hmm. of the people I even send friend requests to? There are people that don't send friend requests to me, but I see maybe somebody share their post, and I go through their timeline. I'm, I'm like, wow, a young lady like me, is standing for Jesus like this. Mm. Like when you go through her timeline, mm. people are even reaching out to her, like very young lady. Mm. Can you pray for me with this issue? And look at how God is using her in this generation. Why won't I have that kind of person mm. as a friend? Mm. Because why am I created? If I'm a Christian, then I should be Christ like everywhere. Mm. Is it, it doesn't mean that, oh, on Sundays, I hold my Bible, I go to church, holy hands up. That is just when you're a Christian. Your your social media, uh, your your WhatsApp status, Facebook, is only on Sunday that I have to post gospel music videos. Mm. Then on Monday, I go back to circular. Mm. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. On Sunday, I go back to being a Christian. No, mm. if you are truly a Christian, a child of God, and you choose to stand by him, even our social media account should tell that we are actually Christian. Mm. It's so unfortunate that because of some people in quotes you say oh you're a christian others that are not believers who mm. see you and say god forbid i become christian be- like how, how can i be a christian because of look at this person that says he's a christian look at his lifestyle is this the kind of line that i want to talk mm. may god may we not be the reason mm. that people will say god forbid that they be christian because on, on, on uh, physically let's say outside the social media 
you're a Christian. On social media, you have a different name and a different lifestyle that you're portraying. No, when I when I post scriptures, they will say, oh, I'm, I too do. I'm, I'm Mother Mary and all of that. Mm. That's what a lot of people are concerned about. What would they say? They will say, I'm posting scriptures. Somebody told me then that and some of us, like it's a concern during a meeting yes. that some of you should stop, reduce the way you post scriptures. <laughs> it makes some of us look uh, bad. I was like, wow. <laughs> You see, you see, that's why I think this, uh, the, this the emphasis is on top is on purpose. Yeah. That that's just it. Mm. If you say you are a Christian, mm. Jesus is just there, right? Mm. You said you want Him to be your personal Lord and Savior. Mm. You accept it. Mm. He opens the door. Mm. You 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 enter the kingdom like the cycle, the 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 the, the His territory, mm -hmm. and He oh. said. This is how things are being done in this kingdom here. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And you're saying you want to remain there. Mm -hmm. Right? And do what you feel is right, right for you. Mm -hmm. And you are not ready to step out. Mm -hmm. Then, in the first place, you don't know the reason, mm -hmm. the purpose, why you even accept him as your personal Lord and okay. Savior. Mm -hmm. Because if, if you look who who even invented the issue of the social media that we are talking? You ca we can name, mm -hmm. right? Then the question: What's the purpose? Mm -hmm. Why he invented that? We have to look that, yeah. but because we are we are children of God, full with knowledge mm -hmm. and wisdom, mm -hmm. all of these things are out there, and that's the reason why they are calling it a global village. Because of all of these uh, platforms that connect people from all over the continent in the world. But yes, the platform is there. But it doesn't mean that... Um, when you are there, you are different. <laughs> when, <laughs> when, when, when you are in China, you are different. <laughs> when you are in Africa, you are different. You, you, you have an identity, <laughs> sir. Mm. Ma. You have an identity. Mm. People should know you with that. Mm. Like, what's the reason of me having an account? Like Facebook, for instance. What's the reason? Someone invented it. But what's the reason me joining it? What's the reason? Then, uh, um, if he's there to make money, why am I there? Am I there to make him get more money? Or I am there to make impact to people that are there that I feel I have something to share with them? We have to look into those those things and then because the bible is warning us about how the world behaves and that's why uh it says the 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 people of the world are more are wiser than the sons are, of god are, are, are wiser than the sons of god they bring things that we are supposed as children of god to take advantage to advance our kingdom mm. rather they confuse us mm. let me put it that way mm. they confuse us is because some of us don't even know the reason why we are existing. Because if you don't know the reason why you are existing, that's why he describes us like the, mm. uh, the, the wave of, 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 mm. of the, the, the sea. Well, yeah, the, the sea yeah. you, you understand? Mm. You, you are just there. Mm. And that's not our purpose. So your account should have a purpose. Mm. And like you said, people will say, um, it's my account, mm. it's my data. Once you say that, I know where to place you. Even <laughs> if I didn't say, I, I know where already I place. I just put you at arm's length. You and know that what? Is just we, we all know that uh, we are in a time of technological advancement. The Bible says the sons of Issachar understood the time. Yes. Now, having known that, yes, the world is a global village, there's advancement in technology, and no wonder we have all of these social media platforms to help us connect and relate better. Mm -hmm. As children of God, how can we take advantage of the time that we are in, of the advancement in technology to promote what we stand for and what we believe in? Rather than falling for whatever comes out with, with like trends. Just, just and imagine Jesus' account mm. this time that we are in. <laughs> just imagine what he will be posting. How he will be calling people. No, let's just think about it. If you say you are representing Christ, we are all ambassadors. Mm -hmm. Once you answer that name, Christian, mm -hmm. just imagine Jesus having an account and you are subscribing, sending him a friend request. When I, mm. just, I just wanted to buttress, like this point was really 
really valid, but I wanted to put trust on what you mentioned earlier. Um, <laughs> um, I'm just thinking of what Solo said. <laughs> you said Jesus is very crazy. Are you sure? He replied, <laughs> say, Are you sure? <laughs> Go ahead. When today, even our pastors, we don't accept <laughs> their friend they request. Are very okay. <laughs> so imagine. Okay, so someone said this. He's like, you stand and be a hindrance to somebody who is eager to come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. And you are the stumbling block. You are, you are the person that is making this person have second thoughts. No, I don't think I should. Your hell the fire is still blowing. It's, it's going to add in more charcoal. In fact, they are eh, resting for not. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but the point is that a lot of us are not even seeing it like that. And this person goes further to say, if you don't want to leave the Christian faith to the fullest, and you want, if you don't want to live the Christian life in the realest form of it, please, Give way for those who really do want to see Christ. Don't be the reason why somebody would not make it to heaven. Because that p- your punishment is worse. Mm. Mm. And it is very important that each and every Christian out there knows this. As a Christian, what am I doing? How am I projecting my Christian life? Am I making my Christian life look... Um, uh, am I making... Christianity out there. Am I taking Christianity out there so that the world will see Jesus or am I not? And the, bi- the the simplest place that we do that, taking Christianity out to the, or showing the world what Jesus Christ came to do, the easiest way for us to do right now in this day and age where where you you don't, almost every other person is on, the, on, on their phones is on the social media. And if you're not utilizing the social media to 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 project Jesus Christ, to show the world that Jesus is the, is the best way mm-hmm. ever, then I don't think you're doing what is right. Mm-hmm. I think that you should go back and rethink mm-hmm. what exactly am I doing as a Christian? How have you been able to distinguish between what is right and what is wrong? If you don't know what is right from what is wrong or what is wrong from what is right, you just live your life that way, mm. and even if, if someone tells you, "Joyce, this is wrong," you don't have a you don't have a single reason to believe the person because mm. you 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 never had a knowledge what is wrong, what is right. right. Mm. See, so if you are able to say, "This is wrong," my brother, this is right. I know what is wrong. Where where was my conscience when I was posting this particular uh, uh, article? Or picture, whatever object it is, is this right? I think I've said it on today's live one time. Several times, <clears throat> I sit down, I write something to hit the send button. Something says, "Is this you, <laughs> or is your mind?" If it's your mind, you don't have a clear mind. You don't have a clean mind. If it's you, you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Why are you posting this? Sometimes the post is gone, but I delete it immediately. Mm. And I, I get so scared. Like recent in recent times, once I post something, before I leave the platform to come back, it has gained at least 50 comments. That means people have read through and they are making comments. Mm. Even if you delete it, you have not deleted it in the minds of the people mm. because it's registered in there. Mm. So in essence, what I'm saying as I close the show, is this what do you believe what is right what is wrong joyce 30 seconds 30 seconds 30 seconds then i close the show well um i believe in christ Mm. and it it means that i should live in line with his principle what he he requires that i stand for Mm. christ-like attitude what do you have to say to people who are christians but then their account is misrepresenting christ yeah, you do know that you're seeing it, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, take it easy on them. <laughs> well, let, let me water it down. Okay, okay. Let me water right. it down. There's still a chance for you. Mm. Just retrieve it and walk according to 
what your calling is. It's amazing doing today's live with all of you. And I really have to say this to um, all of us, that Christ in you is the hope of glory. Please, don't put on a Pepsi shirt and be advertising Coca-Cola. It's not right. We want to thank all Equa Television supporters, Equa executives, and everyone who keeps giving us the opportunity to do this prayerfully, financially, and otherwise. We are grateful. Cast and crew, everybody, we are grateful. On behalf of Equa Television, we are happy you stayed. Please be kind to one another. Remember, your social media account should be the type that glorifies whatever you believe. So whatever we see on your social media account, we assume is the sum total of who you are. See you on Monday at 11 a.m. Have a glorious weekend.